I've been thinking a lot lately about the power of a positive attitude versus the power of a negative attitude. And I just want to try to get my thoughts out to you. What's up guys, welcome to the video. My name is Jean, spelled like Jean, and here's why I'm excited today. We are in LA, by we I mean me and my brother. Got a truck driving by, got a car driving by. We are in LA for the podcast. We are a traveling podcast crew because we're interviewing a guy named Charlie. You guys are gonna see it. It's gonna be fun, but first. All right, how you feeling? Good. This is our first in-person guest for the podcast. Mm-hmm. I think we'll do well. I hope we don't mess it up too much. We kind of want to make a point as often as possible, no matter what that means for traveling. We want to do as many in-person interviews as possible just because it sounds better when it's in person. You kind of get to interact with them more when it's in person and it's easier to edit when it's in person. <laughs> so, uh, it's just cause we're lazy. Yeah. And we also, we're not full-time podcast editors. This is just another thing to add on. So we're walking up to the house now. We had to park like super far away. I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous, but I don't want to act nervous when I'm there. I try to play cool, but like inwardly, I'm kind of nervous. Are you, are you playing nervous, it cool? Yeah. <laughs> I'm outwardly nervous too, but I, I mean, I won't do it like I'll be like cool when I'm there, but like the build up. Huh. No, yeah, I'm nervous. I mean, it's, it's just something new for both of us, right? So. Since doing the podcast with Charlie, I mean, he's got just an incredibly positive attitude, like far beyond anyone I know. And he is one of the most successful people that I've personally met. And I don't think that there is a coincidence there. Like even before he was rich and, you know, well known and had this crazy story, like he, it was his positive mindset that got him there. I've also been watching, I watched like a few videos last night from a YouTube channel called Yes Theory. And their whole thing is just putting it out there and being positive and putting your hopes and your dreams and, and, and putting it out there for people to see and then trusting the process there, that they're positive, it's gonna happen, it's gonna work. And I'm in my head a lot. And I'm always thinking why this won't work and how much this will cost or how much energy this will expend. And I want to get away from that because I am a positive person. I love good vibes. I enjoy having fun. If I'm not having fun doing something, it's really hard for me to like just grind and do it. Like I enjoy making even mundane things fun because it's more enjoyable for me. But in my mindset, I like cut myself off and I like, I tell myself why things can't happen before they can or can't happen, if that makes sense. Good morning, welcome to the video. My name is Jean, spelled like Jean, and welcome to my office. So here's pretty much what happened. Me and my brother filmed our second podcast in this room. There's a lot more trash, a lot more stuff in here. And um, we filmed it, it went really well, the vibe was really cool, and the gym, the owners of the gym started thinking, this is, this is kind of cool. This would be kind of cool to have them do more often. So they came up to us and they said, how would you consider using this room as your podcast slash office space? And me and my brother were like, absolutely, that would be so cool. So they cleaned it out, we set up a deal with them, and the Work For Change podcast slash Jean and John Glaude's respective YouTube channels now have an office. And it's right next to the gym. So at any moment, I'm working, working, you know what? Time to move, time to work out. Boom, get the workout in come right back. Oh. It's cool because it's loud in here. So I can feel totally comfortable vlogging and talking without disturbing like an office mate or whatever. Um, and it's like the vibe that we do, we work out, we do CrossFit, like this fits. It just, it's awesome. It's a great, great situation. Okay, got a couple hours of work done. Awesome, feels so good to just be able to have a spot to call mine to get work done. 
but I left my food at home like an idiot. So I'm gonna go eat. I gotta go drop a memory card off. I think I need a car wash. And then I'm gonna go back. I think it's time for a new battery. This has happened to me twice. On the go, going, get stranded somewhere. Coming. What I want to do and what I want to learn to do and what I want to encourage you guys to do is like look to be just ridiculously positive. Like look to be more positive than you think is healthy. <laughs> um, because you never know like what, what, how much energy does it expend to be negative, right? No, nah, not much. You're just a negative person. You just kind of think things are going to be happening. Now switch that. And how much energy does it expend to be positive? Like, no, not really. It doesn't, it doesn't cost you anything. There's no reason in your life, in your relationships, in your career, in whatever you're doing, there's no reason to not think positively about what is coming. It doesn't mean everything's gonna work right. It doesn't mean everything is good. Bad things have terrible things happen to people, but you have people who that terrible thing shot them on a trajectory where they've decided that they never want that to happen to anyone else and it puts them on a, a path of trying to do the most good for those people. And then you have people who just cripple and they cripple in on themselves and they blame everyone else. Like bad things and terrible things and good things and great things happen but you are in total control of how you respond to that. And I want to, res I want to, I'm not asking you to fake positivity. And I'm not asking you to fake that everything's okay. If something's hard, allow it to be hard, but believe that it's going to work out and act as if it is going to work out and have that confidence in yourself and have that confidence in the situation. And I just, I've been seeing the results of that a lot more when I've been so used to looking at the negatives and why I can't. I don't know. I hope that makes sense, guys. <laughs> all right, so a full work day is done. I've been here at the gym pretty much all day, except for that wonderful random little detour I had to take in the middle of the day. I'm ready to work out. It's gonna be a fun one. It's, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just dying over here. Oh. As if that terrible workout wasn't enough. Now we have 150 sit ups. Time cap. Disney! Disney. <laughs> no! It's just 10, 15 times. It's okay. Good job, John. Back to the fetal. <laughs> Back to the fetal